Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, April 12th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I am paying attention to the messages Spirit sends me. And I have to say, this is my maybe second time this year that I had the urge to say 2023. So in this Mercury retrograde, we are retrograding back a year. <laughs> but you know, it's paying attention to those little things. Like what about it? What is calling to my attention for April 12th in 2023? Or maybe it's for one of you. I don't know. I don't know, but we're listening. So that's the work today to listen. Um, we have the moon in Gemini, which can definitely increase our ability, whether it's in the head or outside. Um, so there will be a lot of this action. However, make a point to take time to balance and listen. We start the day with squares to Saturn and Mars. We're kind of like moving apart. Um, Saturn and Mars in the sign of Pisces. So the moon is engaging this energy. And it's interesting because it's a square. Um, and that square is challenged. And, you know, Mars and Saturn and Pisces definitely is faith forward, right? Like lean into faith, lean into the unknown. Gemini is paying attention and likes to see the signs, likes to see the steps, likes to see like, hey, this is the way we're going. Okay, cool. Let's go this way. It likes the evidence. It likes it a little bit more tangible. So today is finding that balance and listening to the messages that rely you to lean into faith and maybe not have something tangible. And also to take lightly the things that you do see, right? And find your balance somewhere in between. I think this is really, really good practice for May. In May, we're going to have Neptune at the 29th degree of Pisces, and we're going to have Jupiter move into Gemini. So we're going to have this Pisces-Gemini energy very engaged, very present. Um, and we're going to have to like lean into the energy of discernment where we recognize illusion versus, you know, something walking its talk. That would be like a paying attention of Gemini, something walking its talk. But sometimes the invisible holds the key, it holds the magic, and we have to let go of the need to see to believe, right? So here's a little, here's a little practice of this energy. And it might have a little challenge because we do have that square. You may be challenged by leaning into faith in and through this energy. Um, we have the sun and the moon also connecting later, later in the evening, but it's a sextile. It's definitely, this moon is definitely hyping up the sun. It's hyping up the Aries energy. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we've come off the roller coaster of the eclipse to maybe have a little fun in this Friday evening energy. The only other connection that I'm looking at right now is the moon and Mercury in connection as well, which is again, just fun hype energy. Stop and watch for the signs, right? <laughs> Stop and listen. Stop. What is the Elvis song? I'm hearing it vaguely. <laughs> what is it? Something, stop and listen, baby. That's my philosophy that I want to say stop, drop and listen because it always turns into stop, drop and roll for me. Anyway, everything stop, drop and roll. Um, this weekend we have the moon moving into cancer and the moon moving into cancer relatively early in the day on Saturday, uh, 10 45 AM Pacific time. I guess it's not that early, but you know, early enough in the day. Um, we'll bring our focus to our home, to our feelings, getting stuff done around that energy on Saturday and Sunday. Maybe even a little like a little rest to prepare for this week ahead. In this week ahead, we are going to have that official building of Jupiter and Uranus. Uranus is already hanging out at the 21 degree, so it's already working <laughs> the 21 degree expansion and Jupiter, you know, is on its way, making its way in. So watch for that, take things slow, pay attention um, because that connection can be shocking. 
So let's see, what do we have? We have the understanding card, which I think is like, again, it's understanding the tangible, what you can see, and the invisible. So finding your balance in that. We get that by tuning in and bringing participation. Participation is my body, mind, spirit, soul, and heart card. Working together, all these energies working together to support you. Again, in your own balance. You don't have to be like, I can walk on water. You don't have to like bring that level. It's faith in your own process, in your own life, in your own next steps. The next two cards, we got patience and we got the master. So the master always indicates like, hey, this is a lesson you've probably had a few times before. Can you find your mastery in it? <laughs> is there another way to say it? Like, have you found your lesson? And the other card with it is having patience. Having patience for this process, including the mastery process. Now, I said that and noticed the time at 5.55 when I said that. So, to me, this is indicating there's some change going on with this these eclipse seasons and even this Uranus Jupiter conjunction, all of this energy can bring change and change is good even even when it's tough. The universe is helping us all work our way up and our work is to not resist what is in our life and rather find a way to dance with it lightly. All right. So, <laughs> That is it. That is it for today. Um, you can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. And the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And remember who you are for. You are the solution. Namaste.